Hello, YouTube. This is the sixth video in our Minesweeper JavaScript and Canvas game development tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be working on a function that will um, be triggered when the user clicks on a square that's not a bomb. So we're going to call that function right now. Um, we'll call it click pass. And we'll make it down here. Uh, there we go. And we'll start out by, well, basically what we're going to do is check the boxes around it. So, um, we're going to check the box at the top left above it, to the right, top, top right of it, to the right, bottom right, center, bottom, bottom left and to the left of it. So um, we're going to do that by taking the number that was clicked, clicked X, which will be in between 0 and 9, um, <coughs> and checking if it's equal to itself plus 1, itself minus 1, or itself. Um, so if clicked X Wait, actually, actually, what it's going to be doing is um, checking if there are any bombs touching it. So we're going to be checking for that. And if there are no bombs touching it, then we're going to check, do this for all of the um, for all of the squares around it. So we'll start off by checking the top left of the box. So if well, actually, let's create another function. Function check bomb. If and this will have an x and a y and an i. If bombs i x is equal to x and bombs i y is equal to y um wait uh actually that's always going to be true if that's always equal to if uh, that always has a value and that always has a value just say not equal to no then there's a bomb return true so um, we're gonna have ten different or nine, eight different checks here. So we're going to check bomb. Um, hold on, I'm trying to think about the best way to do this efficiently. Uh, we're going to need to use for loops. So actually what I'm going to do is create an array um, for all of the um, squares that we need to check, or all the coordinates that we need to check. And then uh, use a for loop to loop through that array. Uh, yeah, so so that we don't have to write the same thing over and over again. So var boxes to check equals array and. The first one will be, it'll have a an x value of one less than the uh, than the the clicked button or the clicked box, and it'll have a y value of one less than the clicked box. The 
one above it will have an x value of the same as the click box and one less as a y value. The one to the right will have a an x value of plus one and a y value of minus one. Uh, the way our coordinate system as is works is as it gets further to the top left, it gets more and more negative. So um, if we have a box here and a square here, the y and x values are going to be more negative. And if we have a box here and this box here that we're checking, this box's x and y values are going to be greater. Our origin will be in the top left, um, if you're thinking about it graphically. So to the right of it, it will have a an x value of 1 and a y value of 0. Sorry, I'm getting this format wrong. This is a multi-dimensional array here. Um, this will be one, one. That's the bottom right. This will be zero, one. That's the bottom center. This will be negative one. One, that's the bottom left, and this will be negative one, zero, that's the bottom, uh, that's the center left. Um, there we go. So now we're going to loop through that array and use each of these to um, check whether that whether the box that corresponds to this coordinate system in um, relative to the box that was clicked is a bomb. So for um, we'll say I in boxes to check. Uh, if you don't know what kind of array this is, or for loop this is, it's a for in array. Uh, and you can check out my our JavaScript advanced tutorial series if you don't know what that is. Um, no var necessary there, I don't think. So here we have this. Um, now we're going to check for our bomb, um, and we're going to use. Okay, so what we need to do is for each coordinate. For each box that we check, we have to check each bomb. So there are going to be um, eight boxes that we check, and for each of those boxes, we have to check through the ten bombs that we have. So um, we're going to make another for loop and um, use n because we can't use i. And let's see. We're going to take, we're going to call check bomb for each of these. And n will correspond to i. So the bomb that we're checking will correspond to n here. And the x value that we're checking will correspond, x and y value will correspond to these. So the x value is going to be clicked x plus whatever the value that this corresponds to up here. So boxes to check i 0 and clicked y plus boxes to check i 1. So if our clicked x is say 4 and we're checking the first the top left 4 plus negative 1 will be 3 so that's our x value we'll be checking 1 to the left of it and um, our y value will be 1 less also because our y value plus negative 1 will be 1 less um, which will be the top so it'll be top left um, and that's how that works, kind of. So now if we give this a go, 
we can check for each bomb. Um, else return false. Um, this actually doesn't do anything yet, so let's make it do something. Come on. Um, if this, this will return true or false, is equal to true, uh, then we, then we know there's a bomb and we will add one to the count var num of bombs surrounding is equal to zero. So we'll uh, increment that. Uh, if by the end of this, well actually let's just Let's just try that and see how many bombs will be surrounding it. So that had zero bombs surrounding it. That had zero. That had ten. <laughs> um, we might have some errors here. Thirty. <laughs> Twenty. Okay, it looks like it's multiplying it by ten. Um, I think this actually has to be 0, and this has to be 1, and we have to check if they're equal to x and y. So let's try that. Um, sorry, I was paused the video and did some error checking. So this is returning super high numbers uh, let's try whoa. let's try checking if they're equal instead <laughs> I think that was a mistake yeah that looks more like it um, getting some ones in there but um, yeah so I think that's right um, when we start drawing bombs that should become clear whether we're doing that right or not and if it's not then we'll fix it later but um sorry for the long video uh in the next one we'll be we'll be actually uh working with canvas and changing the up, like updating the screen so that the user can see what's happening um we'll be drawing bombs and numbers and stuff like that uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.